day. They said, can you turn the camera off? This was like she was it's time for her to start the scans. They got to all come back here. And they said, so the people won't see us. Look at with the 
Bill Bryant, followed with Clear by Mrs. Boxley and Bowen, and then the selection by Stephen Bryant.
Johnson, her mother, and we'll keep her in our prayers. Any others?
Mark the Davis Baptist Church. It is indeed an honor and a privilege to be in God's house one more time. I welcome all of our visitors who are here this morning, all of our church members, and all of those of you who are listening in on Facebook. We just want you to know that our doors are always open here, and you are always welcome to come and fellowship with us at this church. We only have a few announcements this morning. Um, on this afternoon, the Bethel District will be hosting their annual Brotherhood, Congress, Deacon, and Usher's Day. That service will be held at the Shiloh Baptist Church in Kingsport, Tennessee. The speaker for the evening will be Dr. Harold Middlebrook, who is the retired pastor of Canaan Baptist Church of Christ in Knoxville. He will be bringing um, that message. The Brotherhood members are asked to pay your yearly contribution of $60 by the end of February. That's February 28th, y'all. Also, each Brotherhood member is asked to donate $25 for the annual Brotherhood Day program, which will be held on March the 12th during morning worship service. We have an announcement from Appalachian Ministries of the Smokies, and it says, Dear friends, it's Super Bowl time. For most folks, that means a day in front of the television with lots of snacks and cheering on your favorite team. However, for Appalachian Ministries of the Smokies and the Samaritan House Super Bowl, it's spelled a little different. It takes an entirely different meaning. Super Bowl of caring is an opportunity for you, family, friends, churches, and etc. to take on an enormous step in preventing hunger. Amos is asking you to participate in this event on February the 12th, 2023. There are several ways in which you can be involved, and here are a few suggestions. Of course, they ask that we make this announcement from our pulpit or in our church letters, which we are doing so right now. But also it says you can create a bulletin board with the information um, regarding the Super Bowl. You can have your youth stand at each exit with the Super Bowl with a soup bowl, allowing the congregation to donate money. You can have a fellowship following the morning service. Individuals can bring their favorite pot of soup, and those attending can make a donation for the meal. You can have your Sunday school department promote the collection of soup for our pantry and shelter. You may even want to create a little competition and assign sports teams. This works great for children and youth. You can also invite your friends over to your house and have them bring canned food items or make individual donations. Mm -hmm. To learn more about Super Bowl of Caring, you may contact Amos at 865-475-5611, or you can go to their website, which is www.superbowl.org. Please mail all your donations to Appalachian Outreach, and their um, post office box is CN71904, Jersey City, Tennessee, 37760. In closing, it says, thank you for your efforts in helping us to meet the needs of the impoverished. It is through your support that we can provide groceries to a family that might go without food. Please call if you would like additional information on Appalachian outreach and volunteer opportunities. Christ's servant, Jean Ann Washam, Appalachian Ministries of the Smokies Executive Director. Do we have any other announcements this morning? Yeah, uh, to piggyback on that, you can also, if you purchase soup, you just bring it here and, and we'll keep it downstairs. When we got all we're going to do up to that date, I'll make sure it gets up the hill. And also with your donation, if you want to do that, you can bring them in and we'll put out back and turn it in as a whole. Yeah. Also, uh, for the month of uh, February, we're going to ask the church if you would start wearing your masks, uh, given February is uh, blue, blue mountain season, and uh, so uh, it'd be your option, but we do have masks that we will provide here, so we need to wear those for the month of February. Also, this coming Saturday, starting at 10 o'clock, we will be starting our interview process at 10, 1, and 4. Uh, the first uh, one that is up is uh, Reverend Johnny Jones at 10 o'clock, Reverend Taylor at 1 o'clock, Reverend Young at 4 o'clock. The congregation is welcome to come and sit. If you have any questions, please give it to one of the, the uh, uh, search committee. 
and we will handle it appropriately. Amen. 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 Are there any other announcements? We have a thank you card. Says, thank you very much. Martha Davis Baptist Church, Missionary Society, Billy Workers, Sunday Choir, and Courtesy Club. Even though you didn't have to do it, you did it anyway. It was much appreciated. Love you all. The family of Carl Hodge. Are there any other announcements? I ask that you keep those announcements in the back of your brain and govern yourself accordingly. God's blessings. Amen. It is now time to go off. <laughs>
James Version, but our scripture lesson right now would be found in Psalms. I get to it, sorry. I didn't have it fixed here. Okay. It would be found in Isaiah 13, chapter, verses 3 through uh, 9. If you're able to stand, please stand. If not, God knows it's fine. <clears throat> Isaiah 13, chapter, verses... Oh, I'm sorry. It's Isaiah 12. I'm so sorry. 12, chapter, verses 2 through 6. I'm so sorry. I was going to read that, but I changed it. I apologize. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For yea, the Lord is my strength and song. He also has become my salvation. Therefore, with joy, you would draw water from the wells of salvation. And in that day, you will say, Praise the Lord, call upon his name, declare his needs, deeds among the people, make mention that his name is exalted. Sing to the Lord, for he has done excellent things. This is known in all earth. Cry out and shout, O inhabitant of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in your midst. I have read Isaiah 12, chapter, verses 2 through 6. May the Lord bless the reading of this word. Amen. It is at this time that we will have a skit entitled The Heavenly Hotel. Verse says this. So many 
nights. So many nights. I've cried. I've cried. Now, anybody know what I'm talking about? You know I cried for, for better days. Yes, I did. For better days. I prayed for it. I prayed for it. Am I talking to some real folk up in here? But through it all, come on. I know. Come on. When do you know, Vincent? What we know is the sun is going to shine. The sun is going to shine. But see, I got to do something. I got to just hold that. Huh? Come on. You got to tell your spirit the sun is going to shine. Come on. The sun is going to shine. If I roll down, that's the song. If I roll down. That, there's another significant verse that says, Sometimes I feel. Sometimes I feel. I feel all alone. Come on, y'all. Y'all got to get on the song. Don't want to rock, no one's there. Don't want to rock. They can't comprehend the magnitude of what you're going through. But you know what? You got to tell yourself, I must endure. Come on. I must. I must endure. Before I know. Before I know. And the newness of this song is the sun. Come on, it's going to shine. You got to rest it. Shine on your morning situation. Whatever you're facing, whatever problem you're going through, you gotta tell them the sun is gonna shine into your own life. Listen here.
front section, you need to look um, no, uh, the front with the important people. Ma'am, I think if I you know Ma'am, if you don't mind, just look in the front, because I'm going to be with the important people. Aretha Franklin, Gabriel, hey, I'm going to be right there. Oh, wait, go ahead. Look at the front. Look at the front. Uh, Ma'am, I, I, I've worked this for a long time, and uh, I don't have to look. Uh, your name is uh, not in the book. Uh, you you know what? You know what? What you need here is a better system. I know my name is in that book. Honey, I don't want to boast or anything, but I'm known for my directing. I directed choirs all over East Tennessee. And you telling me my name's not in that book? I, I'm sorry, ma'am. Uh, maybe somebody made a mistake, but your name is not in the book. I gave up rolling my eyes at that senior choir. Security. Security. <laughs>
Huh. I'll go somewhere else and party. Party? You want to party? <laughs> party? Come on, girl. Let's go, party. All I can say is, you won't be here. <laughs> it is me. Vanity of vanities. All is vanity on your left. Damn, like those two flights. I hope she finds those two flights and stuff. But anyway, uh, whew, no party here. <laughs> Do the weaknesses of any of these humorous characters resemble 
are all imperfect people. We all need to admit, confess our imperfections, and ask for forgiveness so that we may improve. Redemption for all sins have been promised to us by God and, in, and demonstrated by the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. The message of hope to heaven is not that we shall be rejected, but rather that we should look again in ourselves to determine whether we really can be a welcome guest into heaven. Let's get all of the here. And I want you to know the room to the left is not the head. <laughs> and we will now have concluding remarks from Miss Alicia, the party girl. Where's the party girl? Miss <laughs> Alicia, we will distractions of this world that so easily, so easily come against Christians. It's so tempting. So the, sorry. So the question is, will you be ready? Revelation is considered a judgment book. Mm -hmm. It contains 22 chapters, and 17 of those chapters, chapters 4 through 20, clearly describe the judgment of God against Satan, his demons, and unbelievers. Thankfully, judgment is completed when there is a loud shout from the throne. Revelation chapter 21 verse 3 states, Look, God's home is now among his people. Much is said about the judgment day. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 tells us, it is appointed for men to die once, but after this, the judgment. John chapter 5 verse 22 states, For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. And in Romans chapter 3 verse 21, it tells us that the judgment will occur in heaven, where angels live and God and Jesus sit on their thrones. In the moment after our death, our souls will be perfect and happy, but we'll not be in our final state of the new heavens and the new earth. Because Matthew chapter 25 verses 32 and 33 tells us that Jesus separates the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. And if you read Revelation chapter 11 verse 18, you'll find that it tells us that there is only one judgment day. Both the saved and lost will be judged. Back on up to Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 14, you'll find that it says, our works, both good and bad, will be judged. Then go on over to Luke chapter 12 verses 47 and 48, and you'll find that it tells us all the sheep who are the saved will not receive the same heavenly reward. And the goats, who are the lost, will not receive the same degree of punishment. We will all be judged according to our words. Mm -hmm. Again, there is only one judgment day. But Revelations chapter 20, verse 11 through 15 tells us that the judgment process has two stages. In the first stage, we are all judged from the works, from the books, according to our works. Mm -hmm. We all fail at this point. But because of God's grace and his mercy, there is a second judgment stage when all are judged according to the Lamb's book of life. The determinator of whether one goes to heaven or hell is whether his or her name is written in this book, the Lamb's Book of Life. So Romans chapter 8 verse 1 tells us 
that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Your name is in the book of life if you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And if you haven't, it's not too late because he says he stands at the door and knocks. And if you will let him in, he will come in and he will suck with you and him with you. And he will receive you as his own. Let's give the ladies of the church another hand, please. Please let us stand for the invitation discipleship. At this time, we extend the hand of, of uh, discipleship to those who want to be in the body of Christ. The doors here at Martha Davis are always open. Everyone is welcome. And now, if listening to the skit, we all know someone that in our families or out in the world that needs help. And we are one body in Christ, as our Sunday school lesson said this morning. And being in one body of Christ, <clears throat> the body cannot do anything by itself. We can do it with our walk in Christ. saying, Lord, I cannot do this on our own, but we give it all to you. And when we turn around and we look and we see that one set of footprints in the sand, those were the times that the Lord has carried each and every one of us. And if we are in the body of Christ and if we are satisfied, there again, this little church on the side of the hill. Our doors is always open. Those who are watching us by Facebook, if you know someone that uh, that you want this church to pray for, just send us a note and we will pray for them. We'll lay their names here on the altar. And there again, we can come by letter, we can come by invitation, or we can just come and say, I want to make a change in my life. And you are welcome here at Martha Davis or any house of worship that you want to go to. But we are one body in the body of Christ. And it is to God that we give all the honor, we give all the glory. You may be seated.
persons who are here today. We thank 